In this video, we're going to discuss how to clean up corners of walls. You'll notice in this scenario I have three walls. Down here, one's overlaying another, and we'll go over uh, many, many different ways to clean up corners. Now, the first one is very simple. It's called fillet. You hit the fillet command. Well, that's what we call it in AutoCAD, but you hover over, it's called trim to corner. I pick one, I pick two, and it cleans them up. So that's quite nice. Now, if I use that here, you'll notice that the corner cleans up. But what if I needed a the corner squared off, or mitered, or something different? There's a tool in Revit right here, and it is called Wall Joins. When I select the wall join, and I pick the intersection, you see it hovers over the intersections, um, I have multiple options. You'll see it shows a line in there, it shows to clean up. Now, depending on the wall type, you'll get different line work. Now, if I have butt and I hit next, you'll see how it changes the walls, how they butt into each other. If I change it to miter, you'll notice it miters to two. I don't really have many options there. And then a square off. When I hit square off, you'll see it squares that wall off, and comes in and cleans it up nice. And if I hit next again, it cleans it up in that direction. So nice little tools there. Now, what if you decided you needed to bring it in and just nip the, a small corner off of it? Well, then at that point, you do not have an option. It, none of these actually work. So let me go ahead and undo what we just did there. Um, and we'll actually go back and put the little cleanup on a corner there. Now, let's say I want to just nip that corner off. Uh, a couple ways we can do it. Uh, I'm going to go to thin line so you can see it easier. So now in thin line, let's say I just want to nip off just a little piece right here. I may have a, a reference plane or something that I want to put in here. I'm just going to put it in so we have, have a, a marker. So let's say that's the corner we want to cut, right? Um, so to cut it, how do we make that cut? We're going to go to a, t a tool on the view tab and we're going to visually cut it on this view only. Now I'll show you how to cut it in 3D and all views in a moment. Why don't we hit what's called cut profile? You hit cut profile and you pick the wall. You'll notice that it turns orange. At this point, you draw a line where you want the cut, like so. Now you see that little arrow that shows up. That's the side you want to keep. So you can flip the arrow by just clicking on it, like so. And once you're done, you hit finish. And what it does is it actually trims that corner out as per your request. Now the problem is, if I go to another level or another location, and I look at it, let's go, let's say we duplicate that view. Duplicate the view, just duplicate. Um, you'll notice that it, it's a visual thing per view. That's why it's on the view tab, it's per view. Now if I want to cut this thing real, uh, I can use a three-dimensional element. Now if I go to 3D, you'll notice that that corner is still there. Uh, so we can use a three-dimensional element. We're going to cut the one at the bottom now. Kind of the same scenario, let's say we have a marker. Um, put a reference plane in, and uh, maybe it's a curve. Well, let's curve it just for fun. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to draw a model line, and let's say it's a curve, and that's that's the design I don't want to follow is this, is this curve, okay? There it is, and it can be just about anything. So that's what I want to follow. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an in-place element, and I'm going to remove it from the walls. So I'll take this guy moving model a little bit. All right, now, we come over here, and we hit Component, Model in Place, and I'm going to say what I want is just a generic element. So come down here and hit generic models. Once the generic model comes up, we give it a name. And there we go. Now, I'm going to create an extrusion, but really not just an extrusion, a void extrusion. So go to void extrusions. And I'm going to say pick that line. So it picks that edge, right? And I'm just going to draw the rest of this thing out. It doesn't matter. We can have a little extra, but we're going to use that as a, as a kind of a blade to take that out. So here we go. Close that up. Now, at this point, I need to make sure it's high enough. You'll see currently it's one foot. I'm not sure how tall the wall is. I'm going to get 10 foot tall. Just make sure you accomplish that. And then I hit finish. Now, the object has been created. And if we go to 3D, you'll see the void. Let me go hit the little 3D button. You'll see it comes up past the object. Now, what we're going to do is, before we get out of here, I'm going to select a tool, and it's going to clean it up. You'll see up here it says cut. <coughs> I hit cut, and then Revit's going to ask me, First pick, select the solid geometry to be cut. So I'll pick here, okay? And then I pick the, that. And you see I trim that corner out following that, that edge. Now when I hit finish, you'll notice that it's done. There it is. So we've got this edge cut out just the way we want it to. So you have the ability to cut it. Now this one's cut in all views everywhere. I can delete the reference line, and there it is. Uh, the third way is to make an independent object. If it's a column or something, and you need it to look crazy, are different and the walls don't work, just create a component. M model in place. Okay, this is a, I'm going to say this is a generic object or maybe it's a column. So I'll say come up here and hit column. Alright, now at this point I'm going to create an extrusion. Now this extrusion 
I can say how high, up 10 feet, and I draw the shape. So I have a little corners I want to nip off. Instead of using the wall command, I may actually use this. Because what it does, notice how it's giving me a lot of control on how these things set up. So I can actually bring it in like so. And notice this nip in the corner. I could even come down here and put funny little notches and do things that normally you may not be able to do. So let's go ahead and I'll drag these up and down like that. So that'd be really hard to do with a wall. But since I'm using it with, it, with an in-place element, I hit finish. The object is made. Now let's say it's concrete. I select the object. I tell it to be concrete. Okay, well, cancel. Hit the little dot right here. Hit the three dots. Uh, you pick a material. In this instance, since we're using kind of a cast in place concrete, I'll come down here and pick a concrete material. So, concrete, concrete, cast in place gray. I hit OK on that. Uh, you'll notice it's a pattern, a fill pattern, etc. Um, now we can finish. If you need to edit it, just grab it. <coughs> and I'm going to hit Edit Extrusion. Now, let's say you want it to look like a wall. I'll come up top here, create again, line. This time I'm going to do pick offset. I'll offset it, let's say, I don't know, six inches. And I touch and I hit tab. Okay, well, so much for that. One, two, three. And now, just like you would do in any other um, scenario, I'm just going to fill these out. Now, you'll notice my edge down here was kind of messed up, but that's just for the video, so I don't have to go through the, the cleaning up of it. Now, I'm going to use fill it again we fill it again going around. So what we did was we cr we created a custom element and we hit finish. You'll notice there it is. So there's that custom element and we hit finish again. Now in the model you'll notice we have two items, one and two. Uh, one is totally custom, one has been a bit customized and it accomplishes what we want. Go back to the line work and there you go. Uh, go to 3D. You'll see here's the one we did with the clips and here's the one we did uh, fully by hand. So that's some ways to deal with corner cleanups and columns in Revit. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, check us out on the web at thebimguys.com. Thank you.